So here we are again, Friday morning, bright and early. Well, early anyway. And uh, back out in the field. Um, it's kind of overcast, but it's forecast to stay dry. I just hope they're right this time. Um, we're going to head on through this field and try and get a full day in here. Um, just to see, really, um, whatever's left. And uh, I've done quite a lot of it. Um, sort of in towards the centre. So I'm just going to head around the centre bit now, um, as much as possible today. And uh, see what we can do. Um, the other field I was talking about doing has, uh, he has um, bailed all the, the uh, silage. So as soon as that's taken off, um, I'll maybe see if I can get in possibly Sunday and give that one a go again. Um, okay, right, let's keep moving then. We're out with the Garrett 400i, the Ace 400i, and uh, we'll see what we can pick up here today. Uh, literally two minutes. Um, first signal, uh, 8183, and uh, this little set here came out from underneath the sod. And uh, within it was the first find, which is, hey, funnily enough, a button. Um, I know I'm getting lots and lots of buttons here, but it's still amazing, um, considering that this field has been battered for five, six years now, and uh, we're still finding stuff. Really nice uh, bell tone here. Um, signal was coming in at 83.84. Took the sod out, and right at the bottom of the sod, or underneath the sod rather, is fine. Um, okay, uh, possibly a lead token, uh, or maybe a lead weight of some description. Uh, probably a lead weight. Um, Okay, there seems to be some sort of um, indentation on the top, but uh, we'll clean it up later, check it out. But uh, yeah, second find in, uh, what, 12, 30, 13 minutes? A strong signal here, um, a double belt zone in fact, and it came up as 77, 78, uh, not too deep, I mean that sod's only a couple inches really, and, and this is in the bottom of it. Now, um, from what I can see, it's copper alloy and there is quite a nice decoration around the top piece there, and uh, I don't know if there's anything at the back. I think it's just the, the piece itself. Um, so I'm not quite sure what this is from. But again, it's one of these things that has a look of age about it. And it uh, be interesting to see what the, um, the flow has to say. Uh, I'll send her some pictures and see if she's got any ideas. Absolutely cracking um, 85 to 88 signal. And uh, just again, just underneath the sod, um, obviously not digging deep enough the first time. Um, okay, well, we have the signal here. Thought this was a musket ball and uh, brushed some of the earth off it. And no, it's hollow there. 
and hollow there. So some kind of a copper alloy bead, maybe, or a button even. Not quite sure, but uh, hey, it's another find. All right, uh, 67 uh, one way, 81 the other, and um, in the sod we have this one, which is definitely today's musket ball. Yay! Uh, has hit something, as you can see there. But uh, yeah, musket ball, and uh, as I said before, we generally get at least one on every dig, so this is the one for today. Right. Move it on. Another cracking signal here, um, eighty-four, eighty-five, um, and I took the bottom off the sod there. It was still in the top, so it's only a couple of inches deep. Um, there's part of the imprint, and then the coin. The, well, I'm saying coin. I think this is Roman. I think it's a Roman bronze. Um, <sighs> I'm sure there's markings on that there on that side. Looks like a standing figure in the middle, maybe. I'm positive this is a Roman coin. Fantastic. Right, um, we'll try and get that checked out, but yep, it's certainly looking like it. Well, that's got to be the find of the day so far. An absolutely solid 92-95 signal here. Um, don't often get them in the 90s. And uh, anyway, dug out the hole just down there, look. And uh, this lot came out from underneath the sod. And right in here, spotted a little bit of green. And yep. Uh, okay, a thing. Uh, looks like a little bit of a wedge. Some sort of bronze wedge, I think. No idea exactly what, but uh, certainly some shape to it. Presumably made for something. Okay, we'll try and check it out, but uh, yeah, another find. The well, wind's getting up a bit this afternoon. Um, I've had a couple of signals uh, since I started back uh, about what 20 minutes ago. Two two buttons so far, um, and then this one, which was solid 85, and uh, this one is a weight, a lead weight, um, the trade weight possibly. Um, not sure how old it is, but I uh, don't know. We'll see if we can get a date on it. Uh, a good 8387 signal here. Um, I'll just move around a bit, see if I can get the wind at me back. Uh, because very deep hole, um, as you can see down there. Um, yeah, good eight inches. 
and this little bit here came out from the eight inches and right there is what I believe to be a silver hammered coin and it is wow my first one of the year um, absolutely fabulous right now that has this is why this field is generally named the silver field because nine times out of ten something silver comes up well that's absolutely fabulous don't know what it is yet quite possibly a Lizzie um, I'll, I'll wash it off and come back uh, Well, yep, fantastic. It is a silver hammered. My first one of the year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's either, I'm pretty sure it's a Lizzie, a Queen Elizabeth. Um, I won't be able to tell until I clean it up properly. But, uh, yeah, there's the, um, the rose at the back of the head there. And... Uh, no date on it. I don't think there's a date on it on the back. Um, nope, don't think so. Okay, well, we'll get it cleaned up and check it out, but uh, yeah, absolutely fabulous. Chuffed to bits with that one. Well, a cracking signal here. Um, this one was uh, 8183 and uh, turned out to be one of those jumping coins. Um, I think we've all had them. You pinpoint it, you know exactly where it is, you start digging down, and it's moved and it's moved and it's moved. I mean, look at the size of that hole. But anyway, eventually found it. Um, very, very thin. I'm saying it's a, yeah, it is a coin. Half penny, I think, but extremely thin. Okay, I don't think there's anything on it at all. Um, well, maybe we'll see if we can give it a bit of a clean later on, but there may be something on it, but don't think so. Anyway, another coin. So we'll keep going for what are we now? But probably another couple of hours. Um, but doing all right today. Any day I can come up with a silver hammer is a good one. Another signal here, this one was sort of 76, 78 um, and I dug it out uh, and then the spoil, this came off but now I thought, looking at that, um, I thought at first that this was a, a Jetton and uh, um, it's, got, it's got, certainly got the look of it but then turned it over, no, it's a button. Okay. But possibly quite a nice one. We'll clean it up, see what it's like. But let's keep going. On the basis of uh, making the most of the good weather um, while it's here, um, I'm out again. Now, same field. Um, I was in on Friday where the uh, um, Lizzie sixpence came up, 
and I'm almost done here for, for the time. Hopefully I'll get it finished today because the um, the field that I want to be in next is just about done and I'm ready to get into. So anyway we'll crack on here now this morning um, come back and let you know if anything comes up. The cracking 8184 signal. Um, now look, it's see that down there. That's, that's eight inches down there at the bottom, and this came out from the bottom. Look at the size of it. Tiny little button. Um, but it's another one of these with the diamonds and the zigzag on it. I think. Um, quite a nice little one. All right, we'll see if it's anything else here because it was such a strong signal. Um, it's strange if it was just that little little button down at the bottom. Sixty-eight seventy-two signal here, and uh, not very deep there. Um, right, this came out, and this is. I'm pretty sure it's one of those um, oh child's toy. What do you call them? Um, this this thing spins spins around on a bit of string uh, that goes through the centre there. Can't remember what it's called, but it's a child's toy, probably 19th century, it's lead. Um, I have found it before, so I'll be able to ID it when I get home. A nice uh, double bell tone here, um, 86 to 88, and I uh, took the sod out, um, and the find was coming in the side wall there, so I just clipped this bit out, and there's the find, and it is, ah. <sighs> right, looks like a half penny, yeah it is a half penny, first coin of the day. Very worn half penny. I think there's something on the back though, but we'll check it out. We'll give it a clean later on. But uh, yeah, first gun of the day. Let's see if there's any more. Uh, signal coming up here is 7677 and quite deep down there um, this lot came out and right in the middle of it was this um, yeah I thought it was a button but I'm not so sure I think I can see some faint markings on there oh look I've scraped it ah um, can't see any sign of a shank at all okay possibly a turner small turner I don't know um, I'll see if I can clean it up a little bit um, other than scraping it with a spade right another find possibly a coin All right then, uh, hour and a half now, uh, it's getting very warm, but uh, another signal here, solid 84, and um, okay, I've all, I have added to me tally of buttons already, I've had another three since um, I last came on video, and uh, last came on I think for a musket ball, and looks like, same here again, right on the side of the sod. Oh. Okay, I've never seen a musket ball with a, a nail sticking out of it. Uh, that's a strange one. Okay, I don't know, we'll have to ask about that one. How weird. Okay, 
Let's get bored with the nail, possibly. Let's carry on.